Goldman Sachs reported that the influencer market is likely to double in the next three years to a tune of half a trillion dollars. We're already seeing this change occur in disc golf. This offseason, we have around 80 players with contracts set to expire. And with the cooling of the market post COVID, companies are starting to cut back. Even if a player's performance improves, there may not be enough money in the budget to raise salaries, meaning pay cuts are possible even for these top pros. And some players may not see a renewal at all. So what's likely to happen instead? Brands will start to allocate more of their focus and budget toward the influencer marketing space. Companies like Innova are already starting to partner with smaller content creators to promote new releases, sending discs out to folks like myself and not just their sponsored players. A few creator channels you might have noticed lately include Anthony Bedanza, Jay Milley, Miss Frisbees, and here local to Arkansas, Nate Turner. And if you've been on the socials lately, you might have seen that Bill Nye the Science Guy just joined a live stream with Kai Sanat, where more than 100,000 people were watching when Bill Nye broke out a box of Innova plastic. Partnerships like these are bringing tons of eyeballs from online into our sport. And for the low cost of sending a few discs out, big manufacturers are reaping the benefits of these videos being produced. Okay, so here's my prediction. Of the 80 players with contracts set to expire, we may only see 50 get renewed. Meanwhile, local creators with growing followings will become the new faces of marketing, spreading the word about new releases onto their own channels. This is where I think Innova has been winning on a jab, 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 right hook strategy. First, they drop their own marketing videos with the announcement of a new release. Then they'll send them out to content creators and get another piece of content there. And finally, Innova will accept collaborations on Instagram with their content creators, getting that piece of content back to Innova's channel where more than 250,000 eyeballs had the chance to see that video again. And for the right hook, the disc is released to the public. And since they've stirred up so much hype online, it sells. And I mean, really sells. Now look, I'm not saying these top pros can't move plastic, but since the cost of working with these players has skyrocketed, it's just not sustainable. Smaller influencers offer a more affordable and authentic way to promote products. And with local creators, they have loyal niche audiences and that connection feels more genuine to fans. Smaller creators are helping to grow the game at the grassroots level by promoting discs in a more organic way rather than just relying on these big name pros. This opens up new opportunities for players who might not be on the sponsorship list, but are on the big manufacturer's radar because they've been building their brand through platforms like YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. So while big contracts for these top pros may be fewer, community-driven marketing could help grow the sport faster in the long run. It's an exciting shift and I can't wait to see how it plays out. The balance between the big name sponsorships and the smaller influencers will help shape the future of disc golf. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe for more disc golf updates. What do you think about this shift? Are you excited for the local creators to take the spotlight or do the big name pros still have the power? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.